when those two forces start to unify, the more you can feel yourself in that, the more you can feel what's going on in the world around you. Great. I'd like to get a partner, and I'm using two fingers here, okay? Second time I do it, he's different, okay? Okay, now I'm going to exaggerate what he's doing. When I pulled, he pulled back. Now I'm going to translate that for a minute. And I'm going to say he started to move his attention into the area in the back half of his back. And the next time I pulled on him, you can just see the connection back there, can't you? Go, go, pull. It was different. And the same thing, when I pushed the first time, he, he wasn't even there. And then the second time, he kind of moved away from it to... Not a bad move. And then the third time he just kind of got there, which means he started to fill in the front. And then he lost the back a little bit, so when I pulled on him, he lost a little bit, but he got it back quicker. Do you see what we're playing with? Grab a partner. So uh, either you're part of the solution or you're part of the problem. And back to Peter's comment that relaxation is a conscious, it's an intentional act. And so this, and what we call relaxation, I'm now going to call feeling. As soon as you feel, there's kind of a more space. Yeah, something like that. That's kind of what we're looking for. All right, so what I want to do is say, if you get the principle of, number one, if you're not here, I can't even talk to you about the rest of it. And if you're not here and you're interested, then we can talk about how to get here more, and you can do these practices, and you can just, you know, imaginary ukes. Just imagine you're sitting at your desk doing your whatever you're doing, and imagine an imaginary uke coming up and pushing on the back of your head. Just do it. Just all, you see, you can do the practices, but once you've developed the state, then like a bike, you talk, listen to your Walkman, chew gum, I don't know what, you know, read signs while you're driving your bike, and you don't even think about it. It does happen, but not unless you practice it. And the slower you go, the better the practice is.